you can also resolve the external resource path so you can tell uh, the external user how you um, reference this via an HTTP link to get a hold of this resource. And then internally, um, if you've ever used filters, so a servlet filter and the filter chain, this was analogous to that. So there's a resource resolver chain that manages um, several resolvers and allowing for delegation from one resolver to the next. <coughs> the way you configure this is via the resource handler registry, um, for example, with uh, WebMC configuration support if you're using Java config. So here, a concrete, oh, a concrete example coming up in a second. Uh, the implementations out of the box, there's four right now. Um, there's a path resource resolver, which is the, the default, configured by default, if you don't set anything, and it should always be configured at the, the end of the chain. Um, you can also use a prefix-based resource resolver. So, for example, defining a custom prefix, maybe it's the, the version, current version of your, your JavaScript files, um, or late release date, something like that. Or um, something a bit more unique, maybe the uh, fingerprint resource resolver um, that uses an MD5 hash for the uniqueness of the contents of the file, um, adding that into the file name and then allowing you um, ways to, to parse that out and, and tell the, the client which version or what the name of the file is to use. Um, and I mentioned before, you might need to compress uh, large JavaScript files. You can do that with gzip compression and use the gzip resource resolver to make sure that's handed back to the client appropriately. So here's an example from um, Java configuration for Spring MVC. So we have an at configuration class that extends the web MVC configuration support. This class um, has this add resource handlers method that basically gives you access to this resource handler registry that I was talking about on the previous slide. And with that registry, um, basically what you can do is you can uh, add a resource handler. For example, here, slash resources star star. So anything coming in under that path, basically you have like CSS and JavaScript underneath that. And then you're pointing to some resource locations from the class path, so within some jars in your web application. And then setting the resource resolvers. So this is this new API, this is the new part. And this is a chain, it's just basically um, an array of these uh, resolvers. 